All right, today I'm gonna do a clown look. So I'm just gonna cleanse my face now just to get any excess oil or bits and pieces off it. I'm gonna be a creepy clown today. Let's how we, see how we go. I'm not gonna follow any tutorial or anything. I'm just gonna work with what I've got and we'll see how, how this turns out. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Um, matte finish, matte putty primer first. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue my eyebrows up. So what I do is get some tissue paper just some like pieces of tissue paper and I turn them into like sort of swirl them around into little strands. I get some PVA glue, just a little bit of PVA and then I sort of make them into lines like this. This is going to be like um, some of the areas that I want to highlight or maybe make his cuts and stuff like that. So now I've made all the little bits of um, the where the wounds and stuff are going to be out of tissue paper. Um, so I'm going to attach them to my face. third layer of glue to my eyebrows and that's all I'm gonna do so I did a swatch on my arm and like they're the foundations that I have so I don't really have much choice so I'm gonna have to use a lot of different products um so I'm just gonna go in with this Maybelline one I found this seems like it's got the best coverage um, so I'll start putting that under my eyes and then I'll lighten it up even more soon So here I have some liquid latex and I'm just going to attach these to my eyes. Okay, so I've just stuck down some um, of those little things that I made. So this is just going to be like a base. Um, I've stuck that down with latex. I've made like a little suture line there. So that's where we're up to. I got this from China. It's this brand. Um, it's apparently what they use in their traditional makeup. So I haven't used this before. We'll see how pigmented it is. Okay. That's pretty cool. It's a good colour. Right, so I've kind of underpainted like um, the areas where I want to sort of highlight more white. And now I'm just going to go on with some foundation. It's quite a light coloured foundation. So I'm just going to do that around the rest of my face. Right, this is where I'm at so far. Just applying this light foundation to the whole of the face. Okay, I'm going to start with this red here. <clears throat> and I'm going to start doing that around the eye. So now I'm just trying to enhance, enhance over some of the... Um, little lines just to make it look like uh, a little bit more three-dimensional so I'm just using like a dark, dark brown to enhance it even more just to make the shadow a bit more vibrant Okay, I've had to put my phone on charge for a while, so I'm kind of getting there, but I've got a fair bit more to go. Okay, so now I'm just layering. I'm just trying different colours, and um, I'll show you again. Okay, still just working on blending everything up. Okay, I'm still working on the face, so I've just used 
uh, some of this like face paint stuff to line the lips. Obviously I've exaggerated the lips quite a bit. Going to paint on a little red nose. Okay, I'm getting there very slowly. Still adding a little bit more detail to the face. Okay, I'm still playing with the final look. It's taken me a long time, but you know, give me a chance, it'll all happen. Okay. Here's the finished look. This is just um, the look with a different mode on. And in another mode. Here's the look in another mode. Here's the look in another mode. I like this mode because it kind of looks old fashioned, like sepia. I kind of prefer this one. This one's pretty, um, pretty vibrant. This one's pretty cool. This also looks like old fashioned. <laughs> 